Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I pray you are already rejoicing in this day and you are glad in it. Today is day number 28 of us praying through the names and the titles of God. And we're going to go back to Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 from the New King James Version of God's Word. We read it yesterday as we prayed about God being a wonderful counselor. And today we're going to pray again from Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. And we're going to pray about God being our mighty God. He's our mighty God. Let's listen to what the scripture says to us today. Verse 6 of Isaiah chapter 9 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And today we want to focus in on that title, Mighty God. As we pray to God today, we want to thank God that Jesus, again, as the Son of God, has been born into the world. We want to thank God again, but Jesus as well as being the Son of God was given in the world. And then lastly, we want to ask God to help us to relate to him as the mighty God in this world. Come on, let's pray. Lord, we love you and we honor you and bless and praise your holy name. God, we pause at this hour in our day to just give you praise, honor, and glory because you deserve it. Lord, if we had 10,000 tongues, we would not be able to praise you enough. But we thank and praise you for this day that you have made. God, we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. God, we thank you for life and health and strength that only comes from you. Lord, we thank you that you made good on the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 9. For you said unto us a child is born. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Lord, that over 2,000 years ago, Jesus was born in the flesh. He was the word that became flesh and dwelt among us. A child was born to us and a son was given to us. Thank you, Lord, that you demonstrated your love for us, that in while we were yet sinners, Christ grew up and died for us, died on a cruel, mean, ugly, rugged cross for our sins to be forgiven, for his blood to be applied to our lives, and for us to be saved at the name of Jesus. Thank you for loving us enough, for sending your son and giving your son for the forgiveness of our sins and the saving of our souls. And Lord God, we learn today that his name will be called Mighty God. Lord, we ask now that you would show up in the lives of your people as Mighty God. God. Lord, we know that you are a wonderful counselor who gives wisdom and truth and advice in the lives of your people. Today, Lord God, we're believing you and asking you to show up as mighty God in our life. Lord, when we're at the end of our strength, we need you, God, to be mighty God in our lives. When the enemy comes in and tries to overpower us today, Lord, we pray that you would stand up in our bodies, that we would stand strong in you as mighty God, and that you would defeat the plans of the enemy in the invisible realm. Lord, when we come up against situations and circumstances that are too big, that are overwhelming from uh, for us, I pray, Lord God, that we wouldn't worry and we wouldn't become anxious, and we wouldn't cower before the situation, but we would call upon you as mighty God, and that you would step in, Lord, and literally show yourself strong. And Lord God, on the other side of the victory, we would give you praise, and we would tell all that would hear us, we serve a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Lord God, we ask you to show yourself strong that when we leave this prayer time, 
we would walk out in the strength and the power and the might that is in you and that we would be prepared for every battle that comes our way. Lord, we trust you. We believe you. We depend on you as mighty God, that you're not weak, that you don't have a weak arm, that you can't save and deliver and strengthen us. You are mighty God. Show yourself strong in our situations today. And we'll be careful to give your name the praise and the honor it so richly deserves as mighty God. What a God we serve. Amen, amen, amen. I want you to go in the strength of the Lord today. I love God's word because it reminds us that when we are weak, God is strong. In fact, he is mighty. God. Whatever you're facing today, if it is too big for you, I want you to know you have a God that is bigger than whatever you're going through. He is literally mighty God. Amen. Listen, subscribe to the channel, share the channel with somebody else. We'll be back tomorrow as we continue our prayers through the scriptures, the names of God and the titles of God. Today, we learned that God is mighty God. Go in the victory that's in his name. We'll be back tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.